Okay, breaker broke two three. So uh, today we're gonna start the mini bike project. And uh, hey, Brady. Anyway, we're gonna start the mini bike project. And basically, what this is, this is a kit from Cart World that I got back in uh, the late '90s, early 2000s. And uh, I was gonna build this mini bike for my kids. And um, basically, you get the frame uh, and the forks um, in the kit. And those come, they're already welded to everything, but it comes raw. There's no paint on it or anything, so you got to prep it and paint it. And then I ordered the wheels and hubs uh, from there as well. Uh, if I remember right, the seat was an option, or maybe it came with it. I can't really remember. Um, you order your clutch and the rear sprocket, which has the uh, internal brake. Um, so I got this sprocket from Cart World, and it was out of round. The brake would rub, and um, the cart would want to herky jerky, or the mini bike would want to go herky jerky when you uh, went forward or in reverse. So uh, of course that's the way it was pressed. So Nothing could be done with that, so I just backed the brake off. Uh, it's always been throwing the chain. This is a new chain I got at the local power parts uh, store, and um, it was brand new, no bends or anything. And it just kept throwing the chain, and uh, the sprocket's not true, so it's bent. So it also has the wrong period of engine on it. This is a mid-90s Briggs & Stratton that I got for my edger. And I just put it on here for now until I found the right motor. So I was at the yard sale the other day. I found the right motor. This is the motor that I'm going to put on it. It's a rope pull motor. Um, we're going to strip it down. It runs great like a top. It started right up. We're going to throw... Uh, a little bit bigger tank on it and air cleaner it did not come with an air cleaner and, um, and that's what we're gonna put on it it'll make it look I think 60s retro which is pretty much what the frame is it's an Azusa frame um, frame wasn't aligned very well they didn't align it in the jigs very well and stuff but I couldn't have done any better so we just work with it uh, good uh, redneck bill uh, worked a place in Florida that built um, um, fire trucks. So I got this old school um, headlight, which is brand new. It's got dust on it because it's been in my garage. And we mounted that on there. It's kind of cool looking. Made a mount for the forks there. Put a piece of rubber in between to keep the vibration down. And that It's kind of a neat mount. So we're going to wire that up. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to do a generator or magneto system. I'm not really sure how we're going to get power to it other than I can put a little 12 volt battery in there. So this is part one of my little mini bike project. So stay tuned. Uh, the plan is is to strip it all down, strip the, mo the new motor down, clean it all up. We're going to repaint it even though it's in pretty good shape. But I'm just going to paint it up again and uh, see what we can do with it. So subscribe, follow the build. It might take me a month or two because I really don't have much time. But uh, that's what we're going to do. And uh, I, I guess I'm going to source a higher, higher end socket assembly. And I think you can order po uh, parts from Taco, but I'm not really sure. I haven't done any internet research. I'm just kind of winging it right now. So anyway, follow along in the mini bike rebuild. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, if you guys have any ideas uh, on how to charge a small battery, little motorcycle battery, ATV battery, uh, whatnot, um, uh, please feel free to comment, give me ideas, whatever. I'm open, man. All right. Thanks for watching.